Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. So today I'm going to be talking all about my top five plants from the month of February. I love filming out here on the couch because there's always a dog accompanying me. Look at you cutie pie. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. She loves sitting up on the back of the couch like that. Okay, so I have some awesome plants to talk about. This is one of my favorite videos to film because I just love gushing about my plants. Like, you know, when you're really excited about something, you just wanna show someone and talk about it. That's always how I feel about my plants. So these videos are excellent. <laughs> But first, before I talk about my top five plants, I am going to talk about today's sponsor. So today's video is kindly sponsored by Glasses USA, which is a website where I get all of my cool glasses from. Now I have multiple frames from them that I absolutely love. If you watch my vlogs, you probably see me wear them all the time because in my daily life, I wear them all the time. These are the first ones, obviously. These have honestly been my go-to lately. I just love how bold they are, especially with my new haircut and my hair color. I just love it these are my second frames which i absolutely love as well they're very classic yet super on trend for right now so yes i've really been vibing with these um these ones are in gold but i'm actually getting the silver frames as well coming soon and these are the last frames i have which are obviously sunglasses unfortunately i have not been seeing the sun a lot lately but i can't wait to rock these all the time they're just so awesome now the cool thing about Glasses USA is that they offer their products at up to 70% off of retail price, so they're super affordable. You can actually get a full set of frames and lenses for $30, so that's fantastic. And even better, they have over 6,000 different styles to choose from. So these actually all have my prescription in the lenses, even the sunglasses, which is so awesome. And it was so easy to just input online and everything showed up at my doorstep. They even have a feature on their website where you can upload a photo of yourself and then virtually try on glasses as well. So I'm going to quickly show you how that feature works. I've just selected a pair of frames that I had favorited. And then we are going to go down and click that blue try on button. And as you can see, there's already a photo of me that was uploaded previously so I found that it saves your photo on the website for the next time you log in which is super awesome just makes it a lot easier sometimes I like to click the other people too and see what it looks like on them but it gives you a pretty good idea of what the frames are going to look like on your face so I find that super helpful in picking out glasses online so if you are in need of a new pair of prescription eyeglasses sunglasses or blue light blocking glasses click the link in my description box and go check out glasses USA okay onwards with my favorite plants okay guys i'm just gonna start with the biggest one to get it out of the way and this is my big zz plant um the regular green one as you can see it's large and in charge let me move over a little bit here it's funny i was just thinking that i'm pretty sure i featured this in a favorites video like a year ago like honestly maybe february of 2020 some somewhere around there but this plant is has made it to my favorites once again and it's interesting because I have noticed since I've had this plant it's only put out new growth in the winter. Are these typically winter growers? I don't know. Let me know if your ZZ plant grows in the, what season it grows in. I'm really curious to know um, but I'm wondering if that's why I put it in that favorites video and now I'm putting it in this one again and it is for the reason of it putting out new growth. So. It, that's interesting but but anyways so yes that is why i have been loving this plant lately i love this plant all the time but i just like your attention is obviously drawn to plants that are putting out new growth and especially if it's one like this that doesn't put out new growth very often i typically only get like two to three new stocks a year and this is one of them that he's putting out right now as you can see it's not like fully fully out yet Let's see um, there's still some that are like, you know, all scrunched up at the top there and it's also putting out a new stock here Let's see if I can show you. Oh boy. This is tricky. Okay. I think you can see Right there is the new stock. Oh my goodness. It's hard to hard to see but but very very exciting this plant is actually getting to the point where it's like a decent size and it's one of the first plants that i bought so it just well one of the first plants that i bought like when i was starting to really get into and collect house plants so it just holds fond memories for me and it's just so beautiful and really demands nothing from me i honestly water this probably about once a month and it gets like 
pretty low light so it's just it's just such an easygoing happy guy and i really appreciate it for that okay now the rest are all small which is good because it's difficult to show those big ones Okay, so the next one that I'm going to show you is my Begonia Linda Dawn. Now this plant has been causing a little bit of controversy, oops, on my Instagram, specifically my plant Instagram, the Fernex Plants account, um, because this is a strange looking Linda Dawn. If you know what a Linda Dawn typically looks like, it has just very dark foliage and doesn't have spots on the leaves, but you can see that mine has spots on the leaves. How interesting. So I was posting about this plant, calling it a Linda Dawn, and people were saying, that's not a Linda Dawn, you're wrong, that's a Benigo Pink. And I was like, oh, that's so strange because I have the label in here and it says Begonia Linda Dawn, and I don't think that I've ever switched it. Of course, it's not gonna cancel, it's not gonna focus, but see, Begonia Linda Dawn. Um, so people were commenting that I was wrong and it was Benigo Pink. Um, so I became very confused and started comparing this to my Benigo Pink and I was like, is that what it is? Like, what's going on? Because they're right, it doesn't look like a Linda Dawn because of the spots on the leaves. But I was looking at it closer and this is when I realized that it can't be a Benigo Pink because I was looking at the leaves and let me see if I can focus here. This thing just always wants to focus on- okay, okay. So I was looking at the leaves and I'm not sure if it's going to catch it, but there's hair- like little hairs see if I can do it this way there's little hairs on top of the I don't know if they're I don't know what they're actually called they're not hairs but there's little um, spikies on the top of the leaves I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see on camera so I apologize if you can't but trust me there's little spikies that stand up on these leaves and that is what Linda Dawn has and Bendigo Pink doesn't have that so then I was fairly certain I was like this isn't Bendigo Pink this has to be my Linda Dawn um, so I was posting about it on my story on that account and I had a couple of people respond saying that um, their Linda Dawn had actually developed some spotting when it was uh, put in a brighter light condition. And this sits pretty much right under my Mars Hydro grow light, you guys. So I kind of realized that this plant has morphed into looking like this like some sort of weird like Linda Dawn Benigo Pink hybrid because it's getting such high light, which is so neat. And I just think it's so beautiful. And every time I walk into my plant room, I'm, I've just been admiring it. And it's funny because I love the Linda Dawn's dark foliage. That's what I was drawn to about it. But I just love it like this as well. So now I'm like, oh, like I do have two. So maybe I'll grow one of them in lower light to keep the foliage that really dark color. And then one of them I can grow in higher light because it's just, it's so beautiful. And the leaves are all kind of different like shades as well. I think depending on how mature they are, the new leaves are really red. And then they're just like varying levels of pink and green and red. And they're just so beautiful. And of course it has the red backsides just like the linda dawn does obviously it is a linda dawn i don't know why i'm i'm like 99.9% .9 sure that this is my linda dawn um let me know if you guys have experienced this at all if you have a begonia linda dawn um if you've experienced it kind of changing quite drastically um according to different lighting so yeah i hope that all made sense i just i've been so excited about it and just like first of all it's an enigma to me and then i just really appreciated it because it's just so cool so yeah, beautiful plant, very cool. Okay, next I have something really interesting. This doesn't look like much, but hear me out. <laughs> this is my black velvet alocasia. I don't know how much I've talked about this on my channel. I know I've mentioned, on, mentioned it on Instagram, but this is my alocasia black velvet, which I killed. Um, I had it down to a bulb, and then I put the bulb into sphagnum moss and into a Ziploc about four or five months ago and it's been in there and it rooted up and I was so excited about it and you guys we finally have a leaf I'm literally so excited about this I cannot believe that I have revived it first of all I was so sad when I killed this I couldn't believe it I got this from my friend Vanessa and I, I just promptly killed it and I I couldn't believe it um, so she actually advised me to do this and I had no experience like planting alocasia bulbs before. I don't have, my alocasias you guys, like I love alocasia but they do not love me and I wish that they did because it's just like you should see my fry deck right now. If you follow me on Instagram you probably have seen it but 
Um, yes, so anyways, I have honestly, let's see if I can show you a little bit better. Okay, there he is. Oh my goodness, I'm literally obsessed. I have been checking this Ziploc bag every single day, you guys, and looking at this guy and checking his progress. I am so, so, so excited and thrilled about this. I'm really excited for whenever I have to repot some of my alocasia to see if I can find more bulbs to plant because this is so much fun. Like, I see why people love doing this. So I think I'm gonna keep him in here a little while longer and then maybe once we're into the spring, I will um, pot him up, but yeah, I'm just so stoked about this. Like how fun. Okay, next I have this little cutie to show you. This is my Philodendron Painted Lady. This is the cutting that I received from Courtney in September and I just recently potted it up. Like honestly, probably a month or two ago and it's been doing well no not even that long like just a month like if that even not very long at all um but it's been doing very very well it's actually put out these two new leaves and i really wanted to show you this one look how orange it is like the color is so pretty of that leaf it's so pretty and then they end up looking like this it is a tad bit thirsty so that's why its leaf is curling a little bit i'll give her a drink after this but i'm just so in love with this plant look at the pink stems you guys it's funny because this is a plant that i had never really paid any mind to and then once i received it in the mail i just fell in love with it like it's so like the kind of like splotching i don't even know how to describe the pattern on the leaf other than like splotching or like modeling maybe i'm not really sure but it's just so unique and so beautiful and i love all the different colors in this plant the greens the pinks the oranges i just think it's so stunning if you can find one i would definitely pick one up i can't wait to see this grow larger i'm just i love her you guys i'm really on a philodendron thing right now like really i really want the squamiferum or squamiferum however you say it Okay, and then last but not least, I have a plant that is a little bit more unique that I don't see very often. And to be honest with you, I don't even know if I've shown it on my channel before. This actually came from uh, cuttings from Courtney as well. And it is my Polonia or Polynesian Ivy, I have seen it called. Um, but this is such a cool plant, you guys. I had honestly never seen this before, before she sent it to me. So I've like looked it up a little bit and found some photos of it online, but it's just such a unique plant. And it's funny because now I'm like within the past couple months, I've kind of been seeing it popping up more. Um, and I had just never seen it prior to that. So it's just so cute. Look at its little leaves. Like it's just look at its little leaves it's just so cool now from my understanding this trails it will start trailing down once it gets larger as far as i know um i potted this up probably two months ago and i have seen so much growth since that, since then you guys um th these leaves are all new growth and it's on the second shelf under my mars hydro light so it gets like medium to bright light and it seems to really like that and i think that's why it's giving me these kind of like bigger leaves at the end there now the the new growth comes out this kind of like lime green color let's see if i can focus the camera there we go that's a new leaf right there it comes out that really like kind of lime green color which looks so cool with the veining I've just really been enjoying watching this grow and it's been so easy and I just think it's really unique and I'm excited to have a full basket of it one day. If you have this plant, please leave your tips down below because like I said, I don't really see or hear much about it and I would just love to learn more so that I can give it the best care. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And thank you so much to Glasses USA for sponsoring this video. Make sure you click the link in my description box to check out some cool glasses and give this video a like. Make sure you're subscribed for more planty content. And that's it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.